Hey y'all, it's your girl Damo and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you came back. Today I will be doing a tutorial using products from brands that are black owned. I am like not excited because one, they're black owned and two, the, this is the first time I'll be trying out these products. So you get a little two in one type of video here. So, I hope you all enjoy this and let's get right on to it. First, I am going to use my, and this, this isn't black owned. There's a few things that are not going to be black owned. Sorry, y'all. But, um, it's okay. I said about like 90, 95% going to be black owned. So, forgive me. But, I will be using um, the P. Luis eyeshadow base and Ruma number two uh for my base on my eyeshadow and of course you know do the whole covering of the lid with it and making sure that it goes on evenly and nothing looks clumpy Blend everything out. And then I'll take my, the, the brush that I use to blend out my concealer and I'll just blend out the top. So both of my eyes have been prepped with the base. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to. So what I'm gonna do is I'll use I'll use Congo Bass Basin. I hope I don't sound like illiterate. Congo Basin. I'm gonna use that right here. Um, this one is a matte shadow, so I'm gonna use that in my crease area. We'll see how pigmented this is. Okay, hey, this is cute. I, yeah, this, this is gonna be cute, y'all. I already liked how it it went on. It didn't go on patchy at all. It seems very, very pigmented. So I like that. And I like to go from the beginning of my brow and go in like an arch um direction and just blend that out and because this is like really a one color eyeshadow look it really isn't gonna take too long okay so you just blend that out as much as you can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color clay right here. And I'll just blend it out a little bit more in the brow bone area. You know, just, just to give it a, you know, a little razzle dazzle. Let's hope it, hope it looks good. So just, just by the brow bone area, I'm going to put some, just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Just to blend out that matte olive shade. And what I'm going to do is go right back in with the matte olive shade. Just to bring some of that color back that was taken out using the orangish color. Okay. I'm just gonna take my brush that I used to put the P. Louise base. I'm just gonna pat out um, that on my lid area so that when I put on the shadow it's not gonna look too patchy 
because if your base is not um, even, you'll be able to see it when you put on your shadows over it. So what I'll do is take a fluffy brush. I'm going to use my um, Fix Plus. I'm going to use the color. It's called Green Valley. This is like the, the olive color. I'm going to dip my brush in there. And I'll spray a little bit of it with one spray of Mac Fix Plus, and I will apply. Oh, this is a oh, this is cute, y'all. This this green is what. Yeah, this is really nice. And this was this was the last restock, so that's why I ended up getting two. Cause I'm like, now if I really like this. You know, when my clients be asking for some nice looks, I could just use another palette, use that palette, the other second one that I got. But this is really nice. Like, this is the type of olive I was looking for. And I wanted something that had, like, a green undertone because for some reason when I find, um, like, olive eyeshadows or in that family it'll have more of like a golden yellow undertone but i wanted something with that green nothing that looks too you know gold or yellow and this right here baby this is this is cute this is cute this is really cute yeah i'm i'm sad that like this was the last restock but i love it i hope that they do add like single shadows so like just in case when that time comes um i could just you know easily pick that shadow up because this is really not this is really nice this is really nice just just gonna just blend out the top part i didn't add any extra shadow but i'm just blending everything in letting everything out however you want to put it this is really pretty but as far as foundation and concealer time I love I love buying foundations like as my skin is not the most perfect you know in there but for some reason I just love a great foundation so I ended up buying um foundation and concealer from a brand called you you Roma beauty i hope i'm saying this right um it's the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation this is the the dark skin the dark skin level um so yes this is black pearl this is the black pearl um i'm gonna take it out the box so this is with the blue cover okay um there are yes there's like five different levels this is like i said the blue one which is called black pearl and this is in the shade t i w i'm telling you right now i'm okay with like matching foundations online but every now and then um i don't know and then some people said like it oxidizes a little dark um so I'm just hoping that I got a good match because I don't like returning items. Um, so let's see. All right, so it's, it's very watery. It came out like water. I, I think I should have should have did um, my concealer first. So it goes on, comes out like really watery. And let's blend it out and see. It seems like a pretty good match. Yeah, it seems like a good match, y'all. Definitely one of those things. It seems like I'm gonna have to like put a few layers on. But in terms of the match, this might be this might be really good yeah so 
it looks like a good match and then i bought the concealer in the shade t3 brown sugar um i was like based on the like how it looked online i was expecting it to be lighter and it definitely looks more red um we're gonna see how how this works out i do like my um my concealers to be a little more on the the golden side yeah this is like this almost looks like a color corrector on me um which is not necessarily bad because it'll cancel you know cancel out the darkness but um this this is really this is really um orange underneath here so i don't even have like my concealer brush so i'm just gonna use this uh, however you pronounce it medallion brush to blend out the concealer so yeah this this is really this is really orange it's not necessarily a bad thing but i probably would have went lower in terms of what shade i chose but of course you can never be so sure when you're choosing um foundation shades um on the computer of course it's better to always look in person but unfortunately we don't have that luxury when it comes to this foundation so yeah it definitely leaks because it's really liquidy which you know causes a mess um but nothing that i will complain about like that i would consider like a flaw but it really does it's really liquidy the consistency really liquidy so we're gonna see how this oxidizes as well because it could look like my shade when putting it on but it can oxidize completely different but i feel like i have faith in like how it oxidizes i actually really like it so far and because i go to sleep late i'm gonna see how it looks um I'm gonna let it sit on because what time is it it's 12 o'clock already oh my gosh i don't know i guess i like working better during the night time but usually i stay up till like <laughs> lately because of corona and everything i've been staying up till like three four o'clock sometimes five o'clock so i'll have some weird time and it's like really hot so for me to go outside with foundation I mean that would be a good weird test especially because it's hot and this is supposed to be a matte foundation but low-key the consistency kind of reminds me of Fenty's to be honest um so yeah I like it I like it so far and it really does look like a nice a nice match I'm definitely gonna have to go I'll use it again a little bit, but I think I'm going to have to go in with another. I'm going to probably use my MAC. One of my concealers from my MAC palette. Um, I just end up using that just to add some, some golden tones in between so it's not like too red. So oh, yes, this should be this should be okay. And of course because I'm using concealer over um on my foundation, I'm not gonna go too light. Usually if I were to do that first, I would go as light as I can. <laughs> But once you go too light, it starts to look really bad. You don't want that. So you see how it now looks a little more highlighted. Just blend that out. I don't do like the whole nose contour thing. Um, so I just blend it out. And then I usually will take my concealer brush and just kind of blend out.
everything. I want to make sure things are even. Now for my setting powder, I am going to use um, Butternut Babes Translucent Loose Powder from the brand uh, AC Cosmetics. And hopefully this helps with the under eye so it doesn't look as orange as it looks right now. Probably once I powder everything and bronze everything, it, it wouldn't look bad. But I feel like once I put this powder on, like when, I feel like once you put powder on, everything now like it starts to slowly come together. I'm going to use the bronzer from um, Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Deep. I'm going to use this on my cheek bones. This is cute. This is, yeah, I definitely, like I mentioned in my last video, ended up preferring this one over the the last shade because the last shade just ended up seeming like a um, contour on me and I ended up buying all six of them so I could put it in my kit so I'm excited to use it on other people it's gonna be lit and then for blush I love me a good blush I'm gonna use my NARS Savage blush and just smile cool I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight from Lord Mercier Alright, so this wouldn't be a tutorial for if I didn't use something from my brand. So I will be using some lashes from my brand Beauty Lash. And I'm using one of the lashes that um came out in the shorter collection. I'll take it out. I have like no nails. So I'm trying to take these suckers out. Ooh, it'd be a whole thing. So I'll be having to use like tweezers. I'm using one of the shorter lashes in today's look. I love me a long lash, but if I'm using a nice short lash, I won't mind. So, I don't know if you can really see it, and you probably can't because manual mode, manual focus, you know, for those that know about cameras. I know a little something, something, but it's definitely a shorter lash, and this is for the the more natural ladies. But we still gonna be cute. So I just, you know, make sure that my lashes are sized. Um, you know what? This is actually the wrong size. Yeah, you make sure that your lashes are sized correctly to your eye. Here you go. I'm a little, little clumsy here. And you cut like small pieces so you can, because you don't want to cut too much and then you like cut too much lash off. You don't want that. So you just cut piece by piece. To get um, to the size, to the length that works out, that doesn't bother you. Because I see a lot of people sometimes, they'll 
like put on a lash that's too long and it's like hanging off their eye that's not how you do it gotta make sure you cut it and if you're scared to cut it I don't know if you should be wearing lashes I'm just saying so I'm gonna just let this dry a little bit I was I mean it matches my chest I don't really like matching foundation to my neck because my neck is really dark so if I match to my neck I'm gonna look like I have a tan and it's a weird tan so I'd rather match here try to contour a little bit and you know I think I, I think I cut enough. Yeah. This is a nice, nice subtle lash. Definitely. Yeah, this is cute. This is for the days that you don't want to do too much, you but you wanna, you wanna do enough, you know. Cause I feel like. At least for me, my lashes are not long enough for me to just leave it as is. So, having a nice, natural looking lash it definitely does help. Even though it's not um, extremely long, it's still something. And it adds the, the little bit of volume that I would need. For the last part, um, it's just lips. So, I'm going to line my lips. I do tend to line a little darker first and then I use something a little more like lighter once I put everything on. I'm going to use my dose of colors. I do like the same lip combo all the time. And then I'm going to use Pat McGrath. This is black on y'all. Pat McGrath. This is um, the Love Potion Lust Lip Gloss. The Lust Lip Gloss, right? In the shade Love Potion. Use that. My lips a little old chap, but I'm gonna let it rock. And then I use my NYX Espresso Liner. I feel like it's always key to line again. Like, uh, once you put the lip gloss on. Definitely helps to blend things out a little more. And it's a little easier once you put the gloss on. This is really a look. I mean, like, I'm really, really feeling this. So, in terms of foundation, um, concealer, I wish I got something, like, a little more golden. It is okay. Like, consistency-wise, it's fine. It's just, um, the shade. I would have preferred something a little lighter and more golden. Found, uh, as, in terms of foundation... And the shade, I think I did pretty okay. Of course, from like face-wise versus neck-wise, it looks off. And that's just really how it always is. Um, for me, at least, because two different, two, two different tones. But when I look at my face and my neck, it's a pretty decent match. So, the foundation is fine. Consistency-wise, it is a little um, liquidy. But nothing that would deter me from buying it again. So those are, those are cool. In terms of the palette, I mean, y'all really, y'all can't get it, and that sucks. But I'm really feeling this green. Like I've never, like I, I don't think I have shades this close. Probably one. Mm, it wouldn't be a dupe, but maybe like an ink. There's an inkblot pigment that I have that's kind of close to this but even to me it still runs a little more on the gold yellow side 
versus the more green side. This, you, the undertone is green. Like, this one is a green olive. Oh, and I'm, I hope I'm making sense. So, that that is what I've always wanted and I've always, always been looking for when it came to an olive eyeshadow. And this is, this is what it's giving me. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I know y'all peep my, my little short lashes. Listen, I make sure that y'all, y'all get it. Like, I, I look out for the girls that love the, or the people that love the longer lashes versus the people that love the short, shorter lashes. And I really think this is a nice pop. Like, these lashes are not too much. Um, and it's not, like, too short because really then what's the point in wearing lashes? So I really think, like, for those people who wear glasses, like, this will be a great lash. Um, like, I really like this. I really like this, y'all. I'm feeling it. So once again, thank you for coming to my channel and joining me um, while I do this look. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you pick up, at least pick up the Uoma foundation. Like, there's only so much brands out here that cater to black women, black people, and it's made by black women. So I feel like, why not put your money towards... Um, a black owned company this is the perfect time to do that uh, so I feel like if anything pick those up pick you up some buy you some lashes some beauty lashes you know um, the link for that will be in the description box and as far as the Safari eyeshadow palette unfortunately you can't get that but maybe check their website because I know they did say that um, they will have like the single shadow so you probably be able to do that and get it if it's not sold out by now um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, press that like button. It's free, y'all. Free to just press the like button. Um, you can comment your thoughts, how you like this look and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And so you can always join me every week when I put out some new content. So I am over and out.